Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start reviewing of using UiPath. In today's session, we are going to discuss about test automation framework. So you'll be wondering right, what is actually this test automation framework, how you want to utilize in a day-to-day -day project, right? So basically, this test automation project which helps us to scale your automation to the next level as well as it's going to improvise your successful rate of an automation. So before jumping into the entire picture of a test automation framework, so you should be having some knowledge about the test activities, which is there in a verify text activities and verify attributes. So it should be well wise those activities which help you to crack this framework very easily. So for all those stuffs, I have already uploaded few videos over in my YouTube channel. So which is how to create a test case, how to upload a test case in orchestrator, how to create the test case and test in a studio. So all those things I have already uploaded in my channel. In today's session, we are going to utilize the test automation framework, which help us to scale our automation to the next level and make a reusability over there. Before kick start with the process, let me touch base on few areas where we have to know about test automation. As we know that basically this test automation projects which gonna verify the functionality and performance of automation workflows which is help us to improvise our automation right. So we have several kind of an automation testings which is nothing but application testing, data driven testing, keyword based testing and behavior testing. So we're gonna take all this testing one by one in our upcoming sessions. So for that we're gonna use this UI bank as a time site as well as UiPath has been provided a wonderful documentation over here in terms of testing. So how, what are the kind of a test case can be created. So all the stuffs have been documented over here. So let me just go through one by one. So here you can see application testing and then RPA testing. Say so they have categorized all the points over here. So what actually the manual tester will be doing, what is actually UAT. So all the stuffs has been documented over here. So it's kind of a, such a good documentation. I would suggest you to go through this particular stuffs. So let me come back to my one node. So as I said, this is a particular site which you're gonna use. So let me try to open this. So in this particular site, what actually we are going to do? So we are going to log in and then we are going to apply for a loan, right? So for this, so they have some particular criteria. So the person who wanna apply the loan should be crossing 18 as well as the loan amount should be less than one lakh. So these are the two criteria which I just found in this particular site when you're gonna apply for a loan. So let me drive this. So let me click on sign in, apply for loan. Perfect. So this will be the form look like. So we are gonna populate all the information, click on submit. So based upon the record which you're gonna get as a result, we're gonna compare the result with the data set which we already have. So as I said, it's kind of a data driven testing. So we're gonna make some Excel file along with the result as an expected one. We're gonna compare with that. So if you're gonna meet the expectation, our test case will be passed. If not, then it's gonna be failed. Let me quickly jump back to the UI Pass Studio. Let me go to the UI Pass Studio. So already I just created my test automation framework, so which you can see over here. So let me guide how you have to open this particular framework. So let me just go to the home. So from here you can see many kind of things, right? So here, new from template. So just click on more templates. So once you click over there, so your templates will be keep on loading over here. So let me type for test. So as soon as I type test over here, I can see multiples of templates, right? So in this test automation framework, this is a particular framework which you're gonna use it. So once you find this particular template, just click over there and then click on use templates. So once I click on use templates, you can be able to use this particular template. So since I have just already taken this particular template, so this is the one. So once you're loaded, it will be your home screen look like. So in this, let me deep dive what actually the project says and what kind of stuff project does have. So let me go here. So templates, so we have our test framework templates. Let me try to open my test framework. So this particular test framework, which contains multiple states, so you can see set up XML after that, so run test. So after that, a teardown. So these are the three vital states which will be used in our framework. So let me go to the data. So in data, which has the asset JSON. So usually in RE framework, so we'll be populating all the information in Excel, right? So here they have been utilized the JSON. So instead of using the spreadsheet, they have come up with the JSON file. So in this, we are gonna populate all the assets which you're gonna use in this particular framework. 
and then so let me jump to the test framework so utils so here we have all init all assets kill all process and take screenshot so after that so as a main thing in the test framework so we have our setup xml and then tear down so which you have seen over here so these are the two things so after that so we have our text case xml which contains the given and then when then states so you'll be seeing multiples of things right so you'll be wondering so how to use this so what actually these things so let me just quickly drive one by one so let me go to the test framework so here so we have our setup so as i said so this particular setup which help us to set up all the assets which are going to utilize in a particular project as well as we're going to initialize all the stuff over here so let me click on open workflow So let me try to close all this stuff so to avoid confusion so here you can see initialize all the assets right so it's going to initialize all the assets so let me try to open up this so here they are creating an out argument and then then reading the all the json file so which you already have here and then they are making i guess deserialize so all the stuff they are doing so they are getting everything from the asset and deserializing and setting into the dictionary as a key value pair okay and then sending it as an out argument so let me see how here okay perfect so assets and then they are passing this particular file which is this one perfect so here we are going to make it our initialization as well so if you're going to open any particular application all the stuffs you're going to do in the initialization state itself so let me close this up click on no so this particular run state so we have a test placeholder so this will be a crucial thing over here so you're going to not took anything over in the particular framework so we're going to just do all the stuffs in your test case xml and going to run this all particular file instead of your test placeholder let me come back to this particular point after some times so let me go to the tear down now so tear down is nothing but killing all the application to open for your test automation process so let me try to open up this here you can find only kill application will be there we don't have any close application so why actually they are killing the application they are killing the application and try to open the application multiple times so that they can test the capability of the particular application so whether it was able to open multiple times when it got killed so in this way they are testing the application as well also parallelly we can able to test the data driven testing or key ways based testing How all those stuffs can be done in a parallel way so let me try to close this up so let me come back to the run test so here we can see kind of an execution time mode so this particular execution time modes will be executed when the particular action which is placed inside it does not take place so when it comes to this test placeholder this is a crucial thing so where this test placeholder will work as a test case xml so when i'm going to test something in this text xml file we're going to set all this instance to the test framework so that this placeholder will be replaced with the help of test case xml so in a real time let me explain in a brief so how you're going to uh, replacing this placeholder this xml test file okay so i hope you have been known all the stuffs how this particular test framework how it's going to be work okay so in the next session let me deep dive how it's going to work so how you're going to place all the things in the test framework so i hope you like this session thanks for watching happy learning have a good day